So I'm going to walk you through a process called Impose Sketch onto Template. Basically, this can be a, a useful, handy way to get a score that you've received from somebody who's not using your current uh, preferred working template file. Uh, in this case, it's important to me that I'm using a virtual drumline template uh, from the right score. And um, by using that template, I'm going to have all my VDL instruments available to me. Um, this score that I received from uh, Wind Arranger, uh, uh, however, does not contain any of those instruments. If I open up my instruments window, you can see there's, there's no VDL instruments in here because he's not using a template, um, which is pretty common. So essentially what I need to do is get this structure of this file into my working template and get all the content of this score into my working template. And there's this handy plugin in Sibelius, which uh, I actually learned about from Brian Harmsen. And it's called, um, if you go to the, <clears throat> I'll show you where to find these plugins actually. And the file menu, you go to install plugins and it will download all the available plugins that you can just grab directly from Sibelius. And you can go pretty deep in here if you really wanna um, dig into it. There's there's a lot of cool, handy things in here. Uh, for this example, under the other menu, and impose sketch onto template. I definitely recommend you read all of this stuff. It can seem, the first few times you do this, it might seem a little confusing, but um, the instructions are pretty clear. And in, in particular, this information about the, the template file is, is important to take note of. And if you don't have the uh, plugin installed already, just go ahead and click this install button and it will add it to Sibelius. I already have it, so I'm just gonna bypass that for now. And once you have the plugin, uh, you go to your home tab and come over here to plugins and you'll see impose sketch onto template. Um, so these are all the various things that you can bring from this file that we're looking at right now into your working template. Um, and if you're wanting to learn how to use this, there's this help button that will give you basically that information that we were looking at in the, in the install window. So again, definitely recommend you read that stuff. So I'm going to bring in all of these things. Um, I will warn you, like this is a later version of the plugin where they've added, um, you can actually choose to add the staves and the contents of those staves from this score into your template. However, I'm gonna recommend not doing that because uh, from what I've found, it doesn't know what instruments to assign to those staves. So, you know, if you want your trombone staff to sound like a trombone, if you're using like Sibelius Essentials Sound Library, um, it's not gonna play back right. It might not have the correct transpositions so we're gonna actually just add those manually. And I'll actually show you, before I do this, I'm gonna go into the file that, like this is basically the template that I got from the right score. And I created my own customized version of it. I saved that file as a band template um, that has flute, clarinet one, two, bass clarinet, all my saxophones, trumpet one, two, three, all the, in, all the staves that I'm basically gonna need uh, to write say, you know, in this marching band context, I've got my, my battery stuff down here, uh, pit instruments down here. And so I'm basically considering this my template. Per the plugins requirements, we cannot have a time signature and there should be only one measure in your template. And um, I think there might be some other requirements, but I think, I think we're set here and this should be good to go. So I'm gonna close this file, go back to this original say impose sketch onto template. And uh, I'm gonna keep all of those things selected. Click okay. And it's gonna ask me now, what file would you like me to impose this onto? And this was my customized template. So I'm gonna say open. And it's not actually gonna change this file. It's gonna use that file uh, to create a new one, my new score. So now I've saved a new file based on my template. And um, we know it's a template because when I bring up my instruments window, there are VDL template instruments from which I can choose now. Uh, 
And the cool thing is it's brought the entire bar structure. Um, we're in 4-4. Four, four. It's got my rehearsal bars. It's got my tempo text. Um, there is a, uh, a retard. Uh, it looks like this didn't quite come over correctly, so I'd have to change that and just add that as a quarter note. Um, but generally, all of these things came over, and I don't have to go and figure out, okay, where do I, where do I change from four four to three four? Where does it, where does the tempo change? Because in order to bring all the contents of the original file, which is this one here, over into my new template, it's important that the the bar structure is is intact. So with that in place, I'm going to select all of these wind staves. Um, and I just triple clicked the first staff and then shift clicked the bottom staff. And as long as my score that I'm pasting into retains this same bar, uh, this same structure of staves, it should paste right in. And it selected the entire score. So I'm going to just hit copy, go over to my template file, and I'm going to paste the contents in right here. And now you'll see all the band music has come into my working template file and I can essentially get writing.